Good morning, everyone. Remember yesterday we spoke about the little food factory hidden inside each leaf and how each leaf needs to find sunlight in order to make food for the plant. Now, I wonder how they do that. We're going to walk around our garden and you can walk around your garden at home and look at all the different arrangements of leaves that you can find. Let's see what we've got. We've got some leaves here. Here's some more leaves. Look how they've arranged themselves. Do you think they're all getting sunlight? That's the leaf's special job, is to find sunlight so that it can make food for the plant in the little food factory hidden inside each leaf. What do you see here? Now let's take a picture inside the tree. We're going close to the trunk of the tree. Do you see a lot of leaves there? What about here? I wonder why. Can you think of why there aren't leaves growing inside the tree close to the trunk? Let's think about what we know. We know that inside each leaf is a little food factory. We also went on a nature walk and saw the ways leaves arranged themselves so they could get maximum sunlight on each blade of leaf. We saw different ways that the leaves made sure they could all get sunlight on them. They do this because they know that they need sunlight to make their food. You could say that the leaves are like little sun worshippers. They really like and they need the sun. They'll always try and be in it. Some of you might be wondering how the carbon dioxide and oxygen get in and out of the leaf. On the underside of every leaf are tiny little holes that work like a mouth. They open and close. They are called stomata. They come from the Greek word stoma, which means mouth. If you had a microscope, you could see these stomata. They look a little bit like this. These little stomata open and close like a mouth. When the plant wants to save water, it closes them, and when it wants to get rid of water, it opens them. It does the same with carbon dioxide and oxygen. Open and close. 